Hi, this is a very quick overview of the most recent staging functionality in the SoftSmile Vision software. So this is a basic uh, setup that's been prepared and we're only looking at the alignment of the upper jaw. This is the original position. These are the aligned T's. So the panel on the left shows us that the alignment has been completed, but staging has not been done. First thing that we need to do, we need to activate the manual stepping functionality and we need to input the appropriate speed values. The default values are good in, for this demonstration purpose, but it should be noted that these values can be changed on the fly and they can be configured for default values based on different practices on different doctors and particular needs. So once the appropriate values have been inputted, we can click apply and the staging now shows the correct duration in terms of aligners. So the vertical axis shows 15 aligners and it indicates how long the treatment should be for this particular case. So the first thing we see on the staging is probably the red indications. So these indications show us where collisions occur in time. The horizontal line, the red line indicates the maximum value of the collision and the numerical value actually gives you the numerical depth of penetration. The staging allows us to very flexibly change the trajectories of these teeth and uh, come up with arbitrary uh, motions and speeds. So first thing that should be demonstrated is the introduction of an intermediate key point. Double clicking on the slider creates an intermediate key point and as soon as it's placed, we're able to manipulate its position, change its uh, position in time, and essentially we're changing the speed and the staging is updating in real time. Having that intermediate key point would allow me to manually uh, resolve all the collisions that occur that we see in the treatment plan right now. However, that would require a lot of time and manual effort. Uh, instead of that, we have an option to automate that process completely. And having done that, by clicking this button without going through the manual, a relatively long process of resolving all these collisions manually, we run a series of algorithms that change the treatment plan in such a way that all these collisions are resolved automatically while also trying to minimize the, the duration of the treatment plan. And this is the result. All the red indicators are gone, no collisions occur. And if we scroll through time, so we very easily uh, come up with a treatment plan without the collisions. Another thing to demonstrate here is the speeds. It's very conveniently um, placed on, the, on these motion segments th that indicate how fast every single tooth is moving in these individual segments, starting from one point start and ending on the other. Uh, we can also look at different speed along individual axes. So we can look at the buccal lingual translation, we can look at the mesial distal translation, etc. So there's a very wide range of different types of motions we can look at. Uh, we can obviously do the same thing for the lower jaw, except that it has not been set up. Once the automated staging, automatic staging has been completed, we still have the option to jump in and make our own manual corrections to it. So if we look at the collision, collisions again, so moving these doesn't really introduce any extra collisions and we're still able to make changes to the generated, automatically generated treatment plan. I can still introduce additional key points. I can actually control click and drag and introduce pause uh, in, in during the treatment for this particular tooth. I can stretch down and then make a certain sections of these motions longer by essentially making the tooth move slower or make it shorter to make the tooth move faster. And the faster the tooth moves, the motion sector becomes red to indicate that this speed of motion is too large. Therefore, we need to introduce a bit more time. Same thing here. And therefore we end up with a more or less appropriate treatment plan. 